You want to be right here. But why not? I need your help. Trying to catch. Good kitty. <laughs> Hello! Welcome to the Vintage Girl Next Door. My name is Lacey and today's video is all about vintage manicures. So today I am going to take you with me to the nail salon. Uh, I don't usually do my own nails. I have them done at a salon and they are hard gel and I am going to show you all of my main manicures that I usually do and most of them are authentically vintage of some era and then there's one that's kind of a little bit of a spin-off and kind of not super historically accurate but I like it anyway so I'm gonna show you how I get my nails done you should be able to see how she paints my nails and so that hopefully you can show that to your nail person or you can do it yourself I've also found some vintage ads that show these different manicures in action so that you can see like kind of the eras that they're from and also how the polish was advertised because I love a good vintage advertisement. In fact, I have a whole video talking about and reading vintage ads from magazines and I will link that for you if you would like to check it out. It's a fun one. Also, I know that sometimes you guys wonder where I got certain accessories or lipstick or brooch or whatever, and if I can, I will start listing all of those things in the description box. So if you're curious about something that I'm wearing, uh, be it lipstick, earrings, whatever, I will try my best to point that out in the description for you. So uh, let's get started. First up, we're going with the 1950s. And that style is mostly the whole nail is painted one color, usually red, but sometimes um, bright pink or other shades. The nail shape is kind of more either almond or uh, more stiletto. And I go with the stiletto shape just because I like that the way that that looks a lot. And so we are going with kind of like a pretty fiery red. I was trying to go with kind of that fire and ice type shade. And we do two coats of that to make sure it's nice and opaque. And here's another fun ad from Revlon for their shade Cherries in the Snow, matching lipstick and nail polish. And that one you can still get today. Next, we're moving in to the 1930s and 1940s. This manicure was done both of those decades and I usually go with the nice bright coral red or the dark red and also I've recently been loving the pink as well. So for this manicure she paints the whole solid color first. So you can see I did that bright red and then a pink and she does the whole nail in that color first and I have to say this is the manicure that I get the most compliments on whenever I have it and also a lot of people think that it's modern it is not modern it's actually quite vintage <laughs> and so then after those are cured under the UV light she cleans them off with alcohol and then goes in with the white so she's painting the white tip just with the brush and it doesn't have to be super precise because then she goes in with her flat brush and alcohol and cleans up that edge and kind of rounds it out a little bit. And so she just kind of makes the, the half moon shape just using that alcohol to wipe the polish away where she wants to. <laughs> And so we get that on there and then she does another coat on the white just so that it is nice and opaque and covering all of that red and pink 
color and here's the other hand hopefully you can see this a little bit better but pretty simple just wipes away and this could be hard to do if you're not using gel polish um, because if it might take away the color underneath but with the gel polish after it's cured with the UV light it is perfectly fine to paint over and wipe off as needed so for the bottom half moon she uses her little tiny detail brush and just kind of freehands that one in with that little tiny tiny brush and there you can see on the other hand and she does two coats of that one as well I really thought this was a cute 1930s ad. Not really understanding why it's called Smoky Shades, but anyway, there's a rust kind of brick red and then also a true red. And here is the beautiful Jean Harlow. You can see she's got that manicure. And I've been loving this one lately. This has been my go-to probably for the last like couple of months actually. Now we're moving into the 1940s and this is kind of what people think of I think when they think of the half moon manicure and one of the reasons I've heard for this style is that it, it was wartime so women couldn't go get their nails done go to the salon as often and so this manicure is a really really good one for as your nails grow out you really can't tell. So I think um, that was part of the reason why. And so you can see she's using that detail brush to paint the half moon and kind of around the edges of it. And then she goes in with the nail polish brush to finish out the rest of the nail. And then kind of similar to the other one, she's just touching that up and then going in with the flat brush and a little bit of alcohol just to clean that up as needed and a variation on this is you can also do just the white half moon instead of leaving it blank whenever I do this one I like to just leave it like a flesh color and just leave it blank and then do the half moon in a color and I had a hard time finding ads that were the half moon um, so there was obviously also full nails painted in the 40s as well like similar to the 50s manicure I showed you and so here's just another view painting that half moon Dita Von Teese loves this manicure it's pretty much her signature look and I found this in a 1942 magazine it's showing nail shapes and how you should paint your nails to flatter your nail shape and most of the colors for the 40s is kind of like a deep true red or bright red going along with the victory red shade and polish was very popular in the 40s because a lot of women when they were going to work in factories and things like that still wanted to have that feminine touch and nail polish and lipstick was a great way to do that so this last one I'm going to show you is kind of my spin-off take on the vintage manicure. A friend of mine um, on Instagram did this manicure. I loved it and so I had to do it. And this one she uses the little detail brush and she's kind of starting down in the corners and then going up and um, almost doing like kind of like an X shape so that she gets that point in the middle to be right in the middle <laughs> and I like to do this one with a darker like kind of like a blood red shade I think it looks really pretty that way I like this one for fall I think it's really a, like a good fall manicure and this one kind of it's kind of a spin-off on all of them a little bit the 40s and the 30s manicure and then a little bit of a nod to kind of like art deco a little bit where it's got the sharper angles <laughs> And 
so she's just using that detail brush to do pretty much the whole thing of this and then a little um, daughter tool I don't know what it's called just to do the dot on the end and I threw this ad in because I thought it was so cute this one is from the 1950s cute tomato tomato mm? <laughs> And I also love to do variations on the Half Moon 40s manicure, where I do, instead of a smooth moon shape, I will do more of like a V and have it be a little pointed, but go with the polish on the whole nail, except just a little triangle at the bottom. I like to do that one. You can also do a variation on it where it looks almost like a heart. I think that one's fun to do. I did that one around Valentine's Day. And she's just adding a little shiny, glossy, clear coat on there. And here's another cute, cute vintage ad from the 50s. Hot Strawberry is the shade, and I love that lipstick tube. So cute. You had to have the matching lipstick and nail polish. Someday I'll get a set of matching. That would be fun. And she's just doing a little shaping here. And special thanks to Paisley for letting me film in her salon and for being awesome. I always take in these <laughs> bright ideas. She's not necessarily a vintage manicurist, but she's very talented and so kind to just kind of go with whatever harebrained scheme I come in with that day. <laughs> so I will link her Instagram for you and in the description, you can check her out, Paisley Jane Pitts or Beauty by Pays. For the next few weeks, I'm gonna have kind of a mismatch. I don't hate it, it'll be just fine. <laughs> it'll be great. Thanks so much for watching. I sure hope that you enjoyed this video on vintage style manicures and hopefully it will be helpful to some of you. I've had a lot of questions about my fingernails and hopefully this will answer them. <laughs> I also wanted to let you guys know that very soon I am going to finally start listing some items for sale on my clothing sale page on my Instagram. So that will be linked in the description if you want to snag some vintage reproduction or true vintage pieces from my closet very soon it will be listed on that instagram account so you're going to want to go follow that if you haven't already and also i will link my regular instagram below i share my daily outfits and sometimes little adventures and i also put a lot of vintage finds and thrift finds and things like that in my stories as i find them so if you want to check that out, uh, it will be linked below. I am over there at Lacey Faith, and I'd sure love for you to join me on Instagram as well. I love and appreciate each and every one of you for being here, and I love to read your comments, and I try my best to respond, and I would love to hear below, do you do vintage manicure? Are you excited to start, maybe start trying vintage manicure? I would love to hear and I hope that wherever you are in the world you are feeling safe and loved and I will see you soon in my next video. Bye!